Let me run down the key features, the key facts about the Juve Mini. So Juve, like I said, been in the space for a long time. American company, this is their third generation uh, product line. This generation, the third one, completely different. It is actually a plastic pedal. It's also made in Malaysia, I believe. Uh, most pedals are made in China. So it does set itself apart from, from the competitors. It's rather nice looking. They use their own proprietary stand system uh, as we've already seen that you can get some other stands which we'll talk about soon as well this panel here cost me 1100 us dollars that was with this stand the mini stand i believe it's called i could have got it 50 dollars cheaper so 1050 dollars and that would have come with a boot the panel just slides into a floor boot a foot boot i guess and it'll just hold it upright you know just and you can put it anywhere on the floor uh or on the ground or on the table i guess that price doesn't include shipping nor does it include taxes i know crazy right who does this if you're in la and you want to get this as you see here with the stand you're going to pay 1100 dollars plus 105 dollars for taxes plus 30 dollars shipping uh so what's that 1235 dollars us to get it shipped to your door okay let's have a look at the panel itself 60 leds it uses both 660 nanometers and 850 nanometer light rather old school in that regards there's no what i call multi-wave technology here there's no you know 18s or 830s or 630s bit of a disappointment because the space is is evolving in that regards however it does use pulsing or it, it does have a pulsing function only for the near infrared light and only at 10 hertz like i said earlier it's a plastic panel rather light seven pounds the good thing is though that the weight that would be quite attractive if you're buying one of these so you can um travel with it if you do want to get a different stand to this mini stand or that floor, floor boot that i mentioned earlier you can get the door stand it's 200 dollars extra and you can also get a wall stand which is 250 dollars extra a little bit frustrating because yeah if you want to hang this off the back of your door or on the wall there's no way to do it like every other panel i've tested they always come with metal clamps or hooks or cables and you can easily hang it from something if you get this set up here and then you decide hey you know what i want to hang it from that hook and um you know after i've had a shower do a quick session and target my back or something you can't do that unless you go out and buy that wall stand all right so i've done all my testing i'm going to talk about sound first now this has at six inches has a decibel reading of 52 52 decibels at six inches which is a little bit on the higher side for tabletop panels. To put that in perspective, I think the Biomax was about 48, a Mitre Red was about 49. So typically under 50 is a good reading. 52 isn't too bad. But what is bad is the sound that this makes. Well, let's have a listen to this. When you turn it off, so right now the whole unit's off, it's on at the wall, but it's off here. There's still this really strange noise. I don't know, it's like a digital staticky. It's, it's really weird. Okay, now for the EMF data. There's good news and bad news. And the good news is magnetic fields from this device are fine, which is pretty standard. The bad news is the electric field reading, as predicted, is really high, even at six inches. If you're worried about EMF, yeah, I mean, it's obviously a big red flag. If you're not worried about EMF and you don't even know what it is, look, let me just say that from a health and safety point of view, there are better ones out there. Now for the power numbers. Now for the average, I had an average of 53. Remember that's the average of nine readings. Now to put that in perspective, Red Rush uh, had an average of 50, Mito Pro 353, so about the same as this. Derma Beam 32, Luminosity 43, Huga, I think this is a 50, uh, the Biomax 70. So yeah, really good average. Uh, and then once we've got that figure, I can then figure out total wattage, which is based on the area. Uh, and we had 28 watts, which is, it's, it's kind of mid pack. That is because it is putting out a reasonable amount of light, which is really good. Since we've got those numbers, what we can do is some value calculations here. Again, based off the non-tax, non-ship price was $39.30. And just having a quick look at my data from other panels, that is the highest by far. Typically with a large panel, I say anything under 10 is good. Remember the lower is better. With tabletops, anything under 15 is good. This goes with 39. So that means you're paying $39 to get one watt of therapeutic red light. It's a lot of money. So operation wise, 
there's two ways you can operate this panel. The first is with the app, and the second is with the control panel built in. We're gonna have a look at the control panel first, and then we'll fire up the app and talk about that. I'm gonna turn it on, it defaults to 10 minutes. All these buttons are quite easy to use. It's still a basic control panel, but it's better than some of the others, right? But still comparing it to like the new, like the infrared flex or like biomax screens this is very outdated in terms of the display and the buttons and whatnot but let's go through it so we've got a power button we've got the play start stop button timer button which simply adds a minute to your clock up to 20 i think we've got this light button which alternates between red light which the red's glowing the infrared which is glowing or both pretty self-explanatory and then this is your pulsing, your 10 hertz pulsing. So you can have that on or off. And then that's really it. So when I hit start, what's gonna happen here is you'll notice the timer doesn't start right away. And that's because it takes, I think it's 10 seconds for the light to come up to full power. So yeah, there we go. So we're at full power now. By the way, when I did my testing, it was at full power. Uh, and now the timer starts. It's kind of cool because, um, you know, anyone that has turned on a red light therapy panel, all of a sudden you're like whoa that's bright so i do like the fact that it takes a while to just come up to speed um especially with the larger juve however it also works in reverse so when i hit stop here you'll see that the timer stops but the lights don't and that's because it's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer before it turns off i don't like that i like the fact that it turns on slowly i, I don't like the fact that it takes a while to turn off um you can get around this by just hitting the power button okay so let's look at the juve app function i've just gone into the juve app here you do need to create an account which is a bit annoying i mean all right so now when we're in here pretty much i can control the device through the app but most of the controls i can also do on the panel itself so right now if i hit start session uh we will see that the red light is glowing it's going to go for 10 minutes i can change the wavelength from the infrared red in the infrared red only or ambient now ambient is for background use right background mode personally i would have rather seen like one percent ten percent twenty five percent maybe fifty percent the ambient mode is only accessible through the app again bit of a bummer wouldn't have been hard to put another button on here uh, on the on the panel itself and just you know just have a percentage icon and just 50 blah 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 like but hey you need the app and you need an account for that so and then you can see your stats so i can go in and see my sessions this week set up goals uh this, these are the sessions i was just doing there i personally haven't don't find this very useful though some people may so there's also the session beeper setting again only available through the app so go up to settings and then session beeper so you can turn it off you can have the panel to, uh beep two minutes before the end, beep at the halfway mark, beep every two minutes or beep at the end. I personally like the beep at the midway point. So that's the app. Now I want to move on to how this panel compares to other products. On the low end, low cost end, we've got the Huga Pro 300. This was only like two, 300 bucks. It was super cheap, 60 LED, same as this, two wavelengths, it was really good for its price. Now remember 300 bucks versus what 11 1200 bucks with this same amount of leds power output was very similar 25 watts versus 28 29 watts like a fraction of the price sure you don't get pulsing and you don't get the nice stand and stuff like that but it's a quarter of the price so that's one option you've got the mito pro 300 which was a little bit bigger similar sort of power figures but from a price point of view uh it was only like half the cost of this from a value point of view uh, you've also got the biomax 300 again a little bit bigger tons of power in that Quite a nice stand that gets the nice touchscreen control though and you get the remotes and all that which you don't get with with the juve really i could go on and on but there's pretty much all the other panels i've tested have been around that 300 to maybe you know 600 dollar price point sometimes you pay a little bit extra for a stand sometimes the stands included but none of them are even close to the thousand dollar price point in fact some of them are like 600 dollars and you're getting 100 leds this is 60 LEDs for over a thousand, excluding taxes and shipping. And if money isn't an issue and you're still like thinking, hey, I want to go with the Juve, just remember that you've got that EMF issue that no, no other panel had. It's, a, you know, that alone is a bit of a, you know, turn off. But on the flip side, you do have pulsing, though some other panels did have pulsing. You do have the app experience. You do have the nice stands, though, if you want to get any other type of stands, it's a lot of money. And you do get a Juve, which some people really value i'm sure it's got a great resale uh, point of view but 
two year warranty as well. Those other companies are all three years or even longer. So I don't want to talk you into one product or another. Honestly, just stop and look at all the numbers. Yeah, I mean, you'll probably come to a similar conclusion. Now, if you are in the market for a tabletop panel and you're not too sure about the Juve Mini, then be sure to check out this video because in this video, I compare 10 different tabletop panels to determine which one is the best.